Hello everyone, I'm Eric Hux of Hux Racing, and in this video, uh, our goal is to show you how to properly test main relay and start relay function. This is our Hux Racing plug and play adapter panel for the SW20. Uh, this version actually has a lug in the bottom and not a, a lead. There were, several, there were actually two different versions depending on how many functions somebody needed. The uh, busman boxes got on a heavy back order when COVID hit, so we had to you know, change the versions a bit. This is actually the, the simplest of the panel. It only has a main relay and a start relay. So it's going to make it uh, a lot easier for me to show you how to test uh, for the proper main and start relay function. Now, this panel has a lug in the bottom. Some of the panels would have had a lead with a, a 10 gauge or an 8 gauge wire coming out. Same deal. We just want to apply 12 volts to that pin. I made a convenient little jumper harness here. I'm using a Milwaukee M12 battery. Get this started on here. Lead applied. See, I'll show you Milwaukee M12 where the positive and negative position is. Got this end wrapped so I don't short it against something. I have a voltmeter set on 20 volts so I can measure voltage. Apply ground. There. Now, this is the E connector, the K series ECU E connector. That's pin position one. By applying a ground trigger to pin position seven, you will hear the main relay latch. Pin in there. Pull this cover off. There we go. Main relay is latched. So now the main relay is in the on position. So if we grab our C101, that's pin one there. You have it marked. Let me get this properly for you. Pin nine. Why don't you 12 volts? Correct. Pin 20, 12 volts. And pin 14, 12 volts. Awesome. Let me turn this so you can see. So that's 14, that's 20, that's nine. Now, if it's a uh, been watching our videos i like to use position one and two for the reverse lights this one the uh, 12 volts will be on pin two and that should have 12 volts also awesome so we have confirmed that the main relay functions properly if the ecu commands the ground trigger to pin seven now what's going to tell the ecu to command the ground trigger is this is our 12-pin Molex. Uh, earlier versions would have used a MetroPak connector, but I still would have used the same uh, pin numbering. So, if you look at this is our pinouts that I like to use. So, by applying 12 volts to pin three, pin three runs all the way, just runs all the way to pin nine. So, 12 volts to pin nine on K-series E connector E. Will then command the ECU to latch the main relay so it will apply ground to pin 7 latching the main relay now if the ECU is not powered up and this connector is plugged in and you act and you back probe it you'll see 12 volts but all you're doing is seeing the 12 volts that's coming across the main relay latching circuit but once the ECU commands the relay to turn on that that becomes a ground signal now, that was how you check the main relay Let's go ahead and then switch all this up to check for start relay function. Uh, that there. Okay. So now the start relay requires a ground and a positive signal. So we have ground on pin seven. So I'll take my ground lead coming from the battery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to pin seven. And now by applying 12 volts, and I got this protected by applying 12 volts to pin 6 here. Oh, yes, we hear the start relay click. Now to confirm, confirm that, pin 16 on C101, 12 volts. So like I said, that's pin 1, goes to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Pin 16, start relay 12. Let's see if I can keep this held. I pull this out, zero. 
perfect. So, and simple as that, we have confirmed start relay function. And that is how you properly test for main relay and start relay function and the plug and play adapter panel. Thank you. Thank you.